I uh, had a little Canon camera brought in from a client that uh, was trying to get the tape out themselves and uh, was unable to get the tape out. So they asked if I could remove their tape. I said, sure, that shouldn't be a problem. They brought the camera over to me in a plastic bag in pieces. Let's uh, see if we can get the tape out of this thing. This Canon camcorder was brought to me in this condition. The owner of it had a tape that got stuck in it and they were trying to remove the tape. So they figured they would take the unit apart and see if they could retrieve the tape themselves. And then got in over their head and brought me this unit in pieces. Wondering if I can do anything with it. Well, we'll try and get the tape out of it. I don't know that I can do anything else with this thing because I don't know why it's in this condition. Very likely it's the DC to DC converter, which is a very common problem on vintage of this vintage of Canon piece of junk camcorders. Uh, I had one similar to this. Mine was a PAL format, and I went. To, I hadn't used it in a while, and I went to use it to do a, a, a PAL eight millimeter conversion, and it ran for about 20 minutes, and then that was the end of it. It started smoking, and it was the the DC to DC converter. All the caps just pissed on the board and that was the end of that. Uh, we'll see if I can power this thing up with an external power supply. Got my power supply set for six volts and we'll see whether this thing will attempt anything. Or is it just totally, is it just totally like foobar? I see nothing attempting to draw any power whatsoever. Oh, hold on. It might help if I it might help if I plug the banana plug in. Okay, there we go. Point uh, one. Let's see if it'll So it's drawing about 300 milliamps and the light is flickering here. I don't hear any sound from this thing not emitting any sounds whatsoever but it is trying to uh, it is trying to turn on buttons and everything pulled out of this thing Eject is here. See the power light's just kind of blinking. Like something is trying to start and it's it's going between uh, 100 and 300 milliamps, 270, 340 milliamps. So I don't know whether I'm going to be able to do anything on this camcorder. Uh, it was brought to me to take the tape out, so that's basically where we're going to start. We're going to start by forcing the tape to eject, and that's done by applying power to the, uh, the loading motor over here. Loading motor, I'll give it about three volts. I should be able to touch the terminals here. I don't know which one's which. One will load it, and one will unload it. If I get in here, I may have to. Oh, yeah, I'll have to fix that. My probe just, or my alligator clip just broke off the end of the, uh, off the end of the cable here, so I'll have to reattach that. But I don't need to do that just yet. If I can touch the wire in here uh, to the uh, terminal, I should be able to get this thing to release the tape. Wrong way.
It's almost like it's jammed. I'm only giving it uh, four volts. I'll just try powering this thing up to six again, just to see what happens when I connect it to the battery terminals on the back here. Now that I've moved the mechanism a bit. still it's still stuck in that flashing state I can see this is bent you see the mechanism here this is this is bowing down like someone has been prying on this thing to try and get, oh ah aha there's a screw that's come out I see it right here there's a screw stuck on that mechanism I wonder what else has come apart on this thing I bet you the mechanisms come apart that's why it's jammed whether that's the only fault with this or not, I don't know, but there was a screw stuck in the mechanism there. Let's see if it'll wind out anymore or whether it's just totally jammed. It looks like it's just totally jammed. I can release the catch. I don't know if the tape will pop at this point or whether I have to get this thing up higher. I have a sneaking suspicion that some of the some of the uh, mechanism has come apart in here, and it's jumped off of the track because there's a screw here that came out. The screw that was just lying in it was just sitting in here. Either that or the person taking it apart dropped the screw inside it, which is also entirely possible that the person taking this thing apart dropped the screw. <laughs> it wouldn't be the first time. That that has happened. We'll just get rid of that just so it's out of the way. Don't need to break any ribbon cables. I mean, I'm not holding out much, if any, hope for this camera. Uh, my goal is to get the tape out with the least amount of damage to the tape as as possible, so that the tape can be recovered. It looks like one of the guides here is loose. This one's. This one's down here, the other one's still up, like f almost fully threaded. So I get the sneaking suspicion that the mechanism has come apart internally. And uh, that's what's happened with this thing. I should be able to pop the, the catch to open the cassette compartment and lift the cassette out. Was the catch I was trying to get in there? Okay, so now so I'll lift the tape out and uh, spill it back into the shell. And yeah, there will be a little bit of a there will be a little bit of a glitch there when the tape is copied, but it it really won't be that bad because the tape's not broken. It's just that it's. Uh, Got a couple little creases on it, which there's not a heck of a lot we can do. But the tape is now back into its cassette, and uh, it can now be copied to digital, and uh, the contents recovered. And that's basically what we need to do on this is get the contents recovered. The camcorder itself I think is probably beyond repair because uh, it's uh, it's jammed really good. Now what has caused it I don't know at this point. There's a um, screw that's come out of it for sure. I'm just looking to see if I can see where that came from. But like if I apply power to the loading motor here um, it's, it's totally jammed. If I load it down, goes into the loading mode, no problem. I go to reverse the other direction, it's going to get to a certain point and then jam. Right there. It looks like the this loading arm here is, is stuck. 
probably the arm has come apart. I bet you that's what's happened is the the uh, the actual arm has come apart on this. My least favorite camcorders to work on or Canon. here the uh, chassis should, should separate from the circuit board or from the or the yeah the mechanical chassis should separate from the circuit board Kicker to this is this this mechanism I believe is a Sony on here. This looks like the TR series Sony uh, mechanism, but uh, and a lot of the chips will say Sony on it. But uh, Canon, of course, built their own. Cut all these things taped together with is impossible to remove. Um, industrial strength plastic adhesive tie downs. It's got all these flex cables glued into place, just asking to be broken. Okay, I'll do that one. Okay, now that's separated. Now I can unplug this plug over here. I can unplug this other board.
chassis there. Well, I don't know what happened there. I was recording and I looked up and my camera had stopped. So I don't know what we got and what we didn't get on this. But I got the tape out. I had to uh, release the catch over on the side here there's a catch and that released the cassette compartment so that I could inject it there's the catch down there so I have to pre push that catch over then I was able to remove the tape uh, I, I, again I've been talking to the camera here for the past 20 minutes or so thinking I was recording and I look up and it stopped But I think this camera is probably a lot, total loss. Uh, it appears that it's bent. Over here you can see the chassis, how it's, it's, it's bowed down here. I get the sneaking suspicion to what happened on this camera is when someone loaded a tape, either they pushed it in or a plastic piece in the loading mechanism broke and it jammed and it got bent trying to get the tape out. I'll have to look and see what we lost on the video on the on this video here uh, I did find a screw that was lodged I don't even know if I got that part or not uh, I did find a screw that was jammed in the mechanism see look there's pieces falling out here see this there's pieces coming apart on this mechanism there's a there's a this is falling out you can see it you get a close-up of that this this mechanism is shot see this metal pieces coming out This is this is this thing's this thing's shot. I don't know where that piece goes, but it's not supposed to be there. This is one of the loading arms, it looks like or one of the control arms that, that lifts this thing back and forth, moves this thing back and forth. And it's not where it is supposed to be, that's for sure. It's not supposed to be sticking out here. Anyway, this, at this stage of the game, I'm going to say that this one is shot. This, this camera is just beyond repair. It may have been salvageable if someone hadn't tried to take it apart and get the tape out. I don't know what damage they've caused to it by trying to get the tape out. Uh, but the mechanism itself is certainly jammed now, and whatever else went wrong with it, more than likely the DC to DC converter failed because that was a real common problem on all these cannons, was this DC to DC converter went bad and uh, caused us all kinds of grief on these cameras. As I said, I have a, a similar one to this, but it was a, the PAL version. Um, and the DC to DC converter in mine, it burned up on it. Hadn't used it for years, right? And then one day I had a tape, as I think I was saying at the beginning of the video, I had a tape to transfer. And I uh, went to fire it up and the DC to DC converter, all the capacitors in here started leaking and shorted out the board, burned out the, uh, the DC to DC converter. 
anyway, um, I'm going to uh, call it a day on this one and get a hold of the person that owns it and see what they want to do. Uh, they brought it to me to get the tape out, which I've done. I've gotten the tape out of this thing, so uh, I'm going to leave this one as it is, and uh, we'll uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.